Pie fans and a warm welcome to viewers at home to join us live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD from the Lay Sports Sp Center here in Bolton. You now join us for our main event. Please welcome Percy to the ring, your challenger from Cumbrown, Jamie Arthur. Golden chance for the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Jamie Arthur. He's hugely driven for this title challenge, desperate to win a British belt after a stop-start seven-year career in which he feels we haven't seen the best of his talent. He's won 16 of 18, he's lively, he's aggressive, he's fired up too, Jim. Yeah, I mean, I think the time is right. He's 30 years of age, he's in a good run of form. I think it's now or never now. He's very realistic, I think he knows he faces a man who's a, a league bigger than the people he has faced in the past, but he's going to give it a shot. The fact he's talking about retiring, if he loses, shows he's putting everything on the line tonight. He will go for this. And now, please welcome to the ring your champion from Belfast, Martin Lindsay. It's been a while since we've seen him, and he's brought plenty of supporters. The British boxing world delighted to have the intelligent Irishman Martin Lindsay back in a ring. I'm beating him 15 as a pro. He's a class act, isn't he? Yeah, he is, and at domestic level, I don't see any weaknesses in his setup. He's younger than his challenger tonight, he's ambitious. I know he won't be looking beyond tonight, I know he has ambitions for bigger and better titles. He's going to take some shifting, this is a monster job that Jimmy Arthur has taken on tonight. They're going to enjoy this one. Could it be tough though? Tail of the tape. Jamie Arthur, three years older at 30, with a height advantage. Not the reach though, Martin Lindsay, both technical fighters and tucked in that nine stone featherweight limit. They've both been around a while, Jamie Arthur had that big break, only four rounds between them in experience, but the power with Lindsay, early and late. The bookies fancy Martin Lindsay heavily, seven to one on. Arthur doesn't mind being the underdog at nine to two against 33 to one as a draw. We've already had one of those this year in a British title fight. Should be good. This contest is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Your officials in charge. Your steward in charge is Richard Jones. Your medical supervisor is Dr. Pigney. The judges at ringside are Phil Edwards of Preston, Mark Green of Romford, John Keane of Wellingborough. And when the action begins, the third man in the room will be Richie Davis of All Hallows in Kent. And now, five fans live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD. Fran Maloney in association with proud sponsors Stan James, Red Square Vodka, BBE Britannia Boxing, CYC and TIGI Hair Products for Men proudly present your main event. 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the featherweight championship of Great Britain. Introducing to you firstly in the red corner wearing the green trunks and gold trim he comes from Coombrown in Wales and weighs in at 8 stone 13 pounds and 4 ounces. He enters the ring with an 18-5 record, 16 wins, four of those wins coming by way of knockout against only two defeats. As an amateur, he was a 2002 Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Tonight, he is your challenger. Please welcome Jamie Arthur. We go across the ring to the blue corner where we have your champion wearing the blue trunks and white trim. He fights out of Belfast and weighs in at 8 stone, 13 pounds and 8 ounces. He brings an impressive undefeated 15 fight record to the ring. 15 wins, 6 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome your reigning British featherweight champion, Martin Lindsay. This is 12 3 minute rounds. Boxers please. Martin, Jamie, 
Okay, fellas, you've both had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Behave yourselves, do as you're told, and above all, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. God bless you both. Plenty of respect between these two quality, skillful nine stone fighters as they tussle for the famous old British featherweight title. Former property of real greats in the past, like Ted Kid Lewis, Howard Winston won it in the 60s, and how Jamie Arthur would like to emulate him. Barry McGuigan, of course held this title in the 80s and Martin Lindsay big expectations in Belfast what happens tactically Jim from the opening bell do you think well Arthur uh, he's a bigger underdog than I expected him to be with the bookmaker so he realizes that and he'll want to make an early impression he'll want to try to to nick a couple of early rounds but this really is a tough job for him he's a fighter who likes to commit himself and against such a smooth boxer as Lindsay, then you, you're going to be clipped, you're going to be countered. And it's pointless changing the style that got you here for one fight. So he's got to bring into the ring what he's got and hope it's good enough. But uh, I have to say, I have my doubts. I love the uppercut from the from the after there. The coffee shot needs early confidence. You feel Jamie Arthur has been ever so complimentary about Martin Lindsay but a left hook just troubles him and Lindsay does have power early in a fight works the body of Arthur as well as I was saying Arthur likes to commit himself likes to take chances that's his style and he's doing that right from the off today this is going to be a cracker as long as it lasts good thinker in there Lindsay compact box fighter takes his time, gets behind the jab both exponents of the sweet science Lindsay, an eight-time Irish champion as an amateur and Arthur a nine-time Welsh one Arthur's not as good as Lindsay defensively and we've seen signs of that already Lindsay's jabs are landing, the left hook Back with good stuff of his own, Arthur. He has whipped himself into tip top condition, Jamie Arthur. Training for over three months for this. He's trying to settle behind the jab. Again, good defense from Lindsay. Nice counter puncher. He just organized as a pro. Yeah, Lindsay likes to block punches which puts him in a position to counter, he doesn't move away from the shots, he either slips them or blocks them. So he's always in a position to come back with something of his own. After struggling to find the range with the left jab, you can see again it's out of range. That's just the defensive skill we're seeing from Lindsay. Both an excellent the real loyalty. These two have been together 20 years. Jerry Nugget Nugent, the trainer of Martin Lindsay. Ten seconds. Yeah, well, Lindsay's going back to a happy corner because they're happy with the way Arthur's prepared to take chances and give Lindsay chances, you know, opportunities to counter. But an excellent opening round. Second round of the first defence of his British featherweight title. Martin Lindsay, the 27-year-old from Belfast won the belt on an atmospheric night at home against the talented Scotsman Paul Appleby Jamie Arthur here born in Aberdeen but moved to Wales at the age of four and became a very fine boxer for his country I mean, there's no question Lindsay looks championship material he's very smooth very confident Difficult to pin cleanly with punches, very good defensively, blocks shots, come back with counters. So the other, it gives the other corner problems, uh, what kind of plan they're going to come up with. The blocking shots there. Gets his gloves up so well, Lindsay. That's the centre of the ring. Smile from Arthur. 
Terrific one with Akash Batia just before Christmas, which earned him this opportunity. Just can't get out of the way of some of these clean punches from Lindsay. And after putting full power into every shot and not landing, so over the championship distance, I don't know if he can keep this going. Low there from Lindsay and offers his glove. Nice to see. No bad mouthing at all. As Lindsay lands a right hand, it's been a, a polite build up. Lindsay very controlled with his boxing here, but full credit to Arthur. You couldn't ask any more from him. He's letting the punches flow. He's putting full power into the shots, but not finding the target too often as yet. sharp skills Jamie Arthur who has been susceptible to cuts over the years especially early on in the first part of his career before his break you know there's a kind of rounded look about Lindsay you know, he's just prepared this oh, beautiful cut. down he goes in the second Jamie Arthur Takes his breaths, waits for Richie Davis to bring him in. Here comes Lindsay down for the second time and looks at his corner, Arthur. He's been stopped twice before, once on cuts and once legitimately by punches. He has to think survival here, but it's not in his makeup. He's throwing back. He wants to turn things around. Thankfully, the bell has sounded. Big trouble. Legs betraying him as he goes back to the corner. Put the water over him. Wake him up. The punch looked different from my angle as if it caught him high in the head. Yes, it did. So it just shows you the snap in Lindsay's shots. It caught him on the top of the head, just seems to stun him. But he looked in bad shape here. But really, he should have been on the defensive, but that just doesn't seem to be in his nature. Finds himself over again. And thankfully, for his case, the bell sounded. But those were really powerful shots, and you wonder if he'll be able to recover from those. It is a minute long enough. Those temple blows, the disorientating ones. What is Commonwealth title as a lightweight Jamie Arthur, now down at featherweight. How well is he going to hold the punches of Lindsay, who has six knockouts, four inside three rounds. And a huge second here. And he's going to go for it. Big blows to the head from Lindsay. And still tight behind the guard when he needs to. Yeah, Quality. Still, still that solid look about his work there. He's leading with the right hand now, not missing with any. He's just so precise, so solid looking. And you can't ask Arthur to box any other way, this is what he does. This caused a little stumble, they landed the shot, but uh, Lindsay not hurt by it. Now the problem for Arthur is he only has four knockouts in his 16 wins. Might not have the power to trouble Lindsay, who's shown a good chin in the past. Lindsay may be just a little bit intent in finishing this job, he wants to start thinking about accuracy for... And that, that's better, he wants to be leading with the jab, he wants to open Arthur back up, he just wants to do it with a one shot. He's becoming a little bit careless himself. He's supposed to the uppercut, Arthur, through the middle. This is a good response from the Welshman. He just can't get through that defence of Lindsay. But done well, his head's clear, obviously, the strength is back in the legs. And a lovely punching again from Lindsay. Found Arthur with the left hook. Just holes in the defence. Nothing wrong with the spirit and the shape he's come into this, Jamie Arthur. Trying ever so hard to live with Martin Lindsay, who just seems a notch above him in terms of levels. And I think the fact he's been pushed back takes away a lot of what he has in his arsenal. 
Arthur wants to be coming forward, wants to be letting the punches flow. He's not a massive puncher, as you said. So when he's pushed back, he's in some trouble. He's been okay with body shots there. Jamie Arthur. Just took the sting out of the Lindsay assault. But back he goes. He doesn't want to be on those ropes. Jamie Arthur. Lively stuff though, Jim. Terrific fight. Lindsay just a little bit careless now. He's missing so often. Just following in with the shoulder there. That was a bad clash of heads, thankfully. No injuries. And the right from Lindsay at the end of that one. 27-year-old Martin Lindsay, the British champion, and in no mood to relinquish his belt. Sensible, likeable guy out of the ring, and he's maturing nicely, isn't he? Yeah, but he's just been given some good advice, and not to, to, to force the knockout, just go for the quality shots that he was throwing earlier. I think he just went a little bit wild at trying to finish the job in the previous round. So once they settled down, he's proved he's the better boxer, he's the more rounded. So just concentrate on the job now. On 97 of his 112 amateur bouts, and unbeaten in 15 as a pro. Hasn't always been easy. The changes in management, and problems getting fights. But if he can get some momentum, some flow, Martin Lindsay could be big nights ahead in Belfast. What can Jamie Arthur do? Stem this down twice in the second round. A nightmare start from the challenger, the 30 year old from Kun Khan. I mean, Arthur's putting punches together well, but just can't penetrate the defences of Lindsay. He's trying to get that jab working, Lindsay. Just settling, not rushing quite as much as he did in the third. Left hook. Arthur has got himself right back into things. He's coming forward again, which I really feel he has to be doing. Can't be pushed back. Yep, attempting to find the angles too. Arthur, just got to be careful on that way in though, Jim that he doesn't get picked off by the precise shots from Lindsay. He's never had the best of defence. I mean, he is so aggressive, he likes to get on top of fighters. He's developed a style where he should be able to punch a little bit harder because he takes so many chances. But Lindsay not timing the punches quite as well as he was doing earlier, so a little bit of head movement from Arthur's helping. from Lindsay, he'll have some ring rust, he did get a workout in November against the tough Ghanaian Alfred Tete in Magrafelt just outside Belfast, but it's uh, been almost a year since he won that British title against Appleby. Good work rate from Arthur. Yeah, but Lindsay's missed with quite a few of the right hands in this round. Not quite the accuracy. He's throwing the same shot and it's missing. A little bit better from Arthur. Oh, walks into a left hook though from Lindsay. Getting some confidence though, Jamie Arthur. Huge desire. How he wants this British title.